Sunda, Sunda, don't sing, go down, Sunda, yeah, that's my favorite song. <laughs> Black man feeling to party. <laughs> One of the icons then. Black Stalin, a Calypso veteran who many Trinbagonians are today thanking for his contribution to the local art form. But following his death, many people are raising concerns over whether or not enough is being done to keep Calypso's rich history alive, long after the icons have passed on. Gypsy was starting to do a little piece of work in the sense of gaining them honors. I see that you we gain them a little special, but yes, they should do. They should do more. I think it does value them more when they're dead, yes, than when they're alive. Especially regular people. And that is sad. We should probably know where they live in. They're not being paid enough money, I, I find, from, like, no more concerts with them. We had our concerts with them to keep to keep their, their music alive. Look, Bernard Boys come and he got he got three million. Right? And we, Calibration Music, have better, better, far better lyrics. Far better music. It it didn't give justice to the person, you understand, that um, performed for this country all over the world then, you understand, as an ambassador to Trinidad and Tobago. It didn't, um, they didn't do justice to him. It's the older heads who started, who pioneered everything. We don't talk about them, we wait till they are fast. And like Cheryl and I heard that are coming up, we have to hear about them after. We don't play their music, they don't know unless somebody from my generation plays it for them. Trinidad should be great for these artists that portray us in a, in a true light of what we really stand for, you know. This year, TNT lost several Calypso veterans, including Explainer, singing Francine, and soca singer Blacks. For Vito Paul Chan, CNC3 News. Love the wine, represent.